Promobot is the autonomous service robot. It independently moves, recognises faces and speech, gets to know people and communicates with them on a variety of topics and can integrate with external devices, services and systems. Thanks to an open software platform, Promobot can customise and perform the unique functions required by a particular business. Due to an open software platform, Promobot can perform the unique functions required by a particular business. Promobot is not only an innovative business assistant, which acts as a consultant, administrator, concierge and guide. This is a complex technical device with a special design, engine components, electronic components and special software. Within the framework of interaction with the laboratory bench Promobot, the student learns to work in the system of growing up, programming in the languages of JavaScript, C and Python, the algorithm for recognising faces and the criteria for evaluating its quality and the principles of modern Modbus, RTU and TCP sensor networks. In the first laboratory work, the laboratory bench of the service robot Promobot is considered in detail. The paper describes the main components of the robot, its functionality and the initial data on the launch and testing of the main functions. Further, students learn about the architecture of the robot and the main elements of the operating system ROS. Here, the operating system commands and communication options between the operating system nodes are described. In the third laboratory work, prototyping is studied using the example of the robotic system Promobot, where the student sets parameters for manipulating the self-propelled platform. The paper describes in detail how to control a robot using JavaScript and Psy programming languages. In the following laboratory work, the technique of quantitative evaluation of the face recognition system, analysed in the work on the example of the service robot Promobot, is described. Information on the technology of face recognition and criteria for evaluating effectiveness are presented. In laboratory work number five, students are given the principles of working with modern sensor networks Modbus, RTU and TCP on the example of the robot system device Promobot. The internal organisation of registers of network devices, the formats of requests and responses transmitted by devices, as well as typical errors in data transmissions are considered. The issues of programming the network master using the widely used programming language Python are discussed in detail. The list of development competencies is expanding. Next, students will consider how to work with speech recognition systems, the robot's interactive system, how to connect additional devices, integrate the robot with external systems and much more. As a result of work with the educational stand Promobot, future specialists receive an actual technical education, apply fundamental knowledge in the applied field, observing how their knowledge can be applied in life. Thanks to Promobot, the student acquires real competencies and becomes a sought-after specialist even while studying.